it one step at a time. Dude, what the f is going on with modern gaming like especially fighting games nowadays i don't what what are these companies thinking if you're a free-to-play game then i get it you're gonna have a lot of microtransactions you gotta make money somehow but we've already paid for these games bro we've paid for mortal kombat we've paid for street fighter mortal kombat as we know is doing like 12 dollar fatalities like what this has been a staple in the game forever now you're charging for after i've already paid 70 bucks they're charging for skins they're charging for basically everything and you might think it's just a mortal combat issue nope street fighter though how much i love it is also victim to this corporate greed and we gotta talk about it, man this is this is wild so we all know the characters in the game have two skins and well three now we'll get to that in a moment but they have two skins you know costume one costume two and they have colors per skin which is really cool but even as we get into these other skins we all recognize that the skins like any skins in any game are strictly cosmetic they they have no advantage in game or anything like that of course but regardless of who you are that is kind of fun right like it's always fun to have a new skin for your favorite character to make it feel like it's really unique to you you. That's why there are so many skins in Fortnite, Apex, Call of Duty, stuff like that. And now fighting games, even though they're paid, fighting games are kind of turning into that as well. But you might think, oh, is there a way I can like unlock these skins in the game and just play the game and unlock them? You used to be able to. Not anymore, it feels like. In Street Fighter 6, you go to the shop and you have the new skins that just came out today for Street Fighter 6. You know, with all the characters, they're outfit three, and they're all really unique and really fun. We got Luke, Jamie, Manon, Kimberly. Yes, I bought Manon. She's my girl. There's the thing that we have to talk about is these skins are 300 fighter coins each and the first note is you cannot use drive tickets to get these skins they are strictly fighter coins only and how do you get fighter coins you have to buy the fighter coins with real money yeah so 300 fighter coins how much is that gonna cost you though right you might think oh three bucks four bucks uh no first of all it's five dollars for 250 so a couple things five dollars let's say hypothetically the skins were 250 fighter coins okay that's still five dollars per skin like that's that's kind of steep for a single skin you know what i'm saying but not only that they made the skin 300 fighter coins so you can't just buy one of these the lowest packages they offer and get 250 you have to have more than that if you have zero so your next option you might as well just spend the 12 dollars here and get the 610 fighter coins so that way you have enough to then buy the skin you want but then you're gonna have 310 left over fighter coins so do you buy two skins do you buy the battle pass point is this is a marketing scheme that i'm sick and tired of seeing it's like oh it's 300 coins okay can i buy 300 coins nope you can buy 600 though but i don't want 600 i just want to buy the single skin i want to buy the one skin for my one character that i play as so i want 300 coins and they're like oh you can buy 250 and it's like well i need 300 because of your price you're setting oh okay and you can buy this twice and spend ten dollars what is going on it's a skin i know i get 10 color palettes with it which again that's cool but i essentially have to spend 12 dollars to get a single skin like okay i might as well just buy the battle pass while i'm at it i guess and here's the one of the weirdest things with this new update first of all the skins the prices all that's just just wild and super irritating but but here's another setting that they've introduced with this new update it's called the opponent outfit setting so what you can do here is you can set character skins for your opponents meaning i can set luke to just the default skin as you see in this example here so whenever i fight a luke online i'm not even going to see the skin they purchased or they put on there i'm just going to see the default skin if you're you know if you're luke and you're my opponent you might have a different skin on, but all I'm going to see is the default Luke skin, which is so weird because as a skin, as a cosmetic, you purchased one of your, you know, your character's favorite skin, or let's just call it what it is, bragging rights. You want to show it off online. It's cool to see on your screen, but you know that your opponent sees your skin and you're like, yeah, I'm a cool JP. Or like, you like my new Jamie skin? How cool is that? Like you do it for bragging rights and we all know that. Like there's a reason you customize your character in Fortnite, in Apex, in Mortal Kombat. There's a reason you customize your character to your liking, especially for online games. It's for the bragging rights. It's so that way anybody who sees you online sees your skin and you go, ha ha, look how cool I look. That is what it is. But Street Fighter is like, nah, dude, F that. You can just customize your character, but you can also set your opponent's skin so you don't even see their skin. So 
really, if I play Manon and I bought her new outfit three, which I did, then anybody I fight could have just set Manon's default skin as their opponent's Manon skin. So they won't even see the skin that I bought and I put on my Manon. They're just gonna see the default Manon. So is there really an incentive to buy the new skins they've introduced if my opponent's not even gonna see them? So it's only me, only, only I'm gonna see them on my screen. So first of all, you're charging for the skins, which $5 for a skin already too wild. And then not only that, it's not just $5. You can't just buy the 300 coins. So they're, they're forcing you to spend even more than the skin would actually cost, which is which is wild to me. And then they're telling you, yeah, but your opponent can just change your own skin for you so they don't even see your skin. Then why am I buying it? Oh my God, I don't even know what these modern fighting games are doing. They're not free to play games. We knew this when Street Fighter charged $15 for a single TMNT skin back during the TMNT collaboration they were doing. It's like $15 for a collaboration skin. Now you're charging $5 for a single outfit for a single character? Bro. One step, it's just cosmetic. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to. I know that, but again, part of the enjoyment of any game like this or any game that has characters, you choose your favorite one. Let's just be honest, part of the joy in finding your favorite character is be also being able to customize a character to your liking. Like even the smallest changes, changing the color palette is really cool for a lot of players. And when you start charging $12 just to be able to use that skin, it's like, man, that kind of sucks. Let's say you don't have the $12, but you really want that skin. Well, now you're kind of bummed out. You're like, ah. Oh. I guess I'll just keep playing the default skin, which is fine. Doesn't change the game, you know, gameplay wise, but I just really wanted to use the new skin. I already paid 60 bucks for this game. Now they're wanting to rake out another 20% of that for a single skin. If you do the math, every skin in the game right now, which would cost you about $100 just to have the, what, 18 extra skins for the characters. So the outfit three for the characters of the full roster of Street Fighter VI alone, 100 bucks, costs more than the entire game alone. I'm sorry, what? Uh, Oh my gosh, dude. Anyways, guys, I let me know your thoughts down below on this whole microtransactions and already full paid games. Do you mind it? Do you hate it? I wouldn't mind paying like a dollar for a skin, but 12? It's only $5. No, it's not. You gotta spend more to get it. I think this is going in the wrong direction. I think they messed up and something needs to budge. Something needs to happen to get this like corporate mindset fixed. And though I'm hopeful, I just don't think it's gonna happen, which really sucks. Again, let me know your thoughts down below on them these microtransactions in the modern day fighting game is mortal kombat street fighter and so on subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time